We trying to keep it budget friendly, okay? Because ain't no PS5s over here, bitch. Okay, ain't no PS5s over here. We don't have PS5 money over here. to my channel it's your girl lee coming at you with another video as you all can tell from my background this one is um dealing with the upcoming holidays and so i have all of you procrastinators covered and all of you who are looking for budget buys to get this season so all of the gifts will definitely be quarantine friendly and i was keeping that in mind as well as keeping in mind tight budgets because I'm a kind of girl who likes to penny pinch. So I have all of you covered, the procrastinators, the penny pinchers, the cheapos, all of you, all of you, all of you, all of you. So if you all wanna know some great gift ideas for 2020, just keep on watching. So for the gift ideas that I have for you all today, they're divided up into three different categories. So I'm thinking about experiences, products, and then actual monetary gifts. Now, if you're the type who always gives money or gift cards, I want, to, I want you to push yourself, okay? I want you to think beyond, okay, this is quick, this is convenient, this is something that everybody would want. I want you to be creative with your friends and family this year, especially because all of us have had a harder 2020, so nothing will sing to the heart more than you actually thinking creatively about the gifts that you buy for the people that you love. I am prepared, honey. It looks like I'm about to sing some carols, but actually I'm just about to read off some, some great ideas, okay? So grab your pen and pencil. So let's get right into experiences. When thinking about experiences, I wanted to think about things that are safe, especially during these times. So the first thing that I have is purchasing a spa day package or a massage. If you're not into going out for the holidays or you don't want to jeopardize your health or the health of your loved ones who you may be gifting this to, then I would say look for black owned masseuses who actually travel to directly to your home. That is definitely an option as well. And oftentimes they're about a range from like $100 to $200. They're pretty reasonable. So definitely consider purchasing a black owned masseuse who would come out and actually do an at home massage. Another option would be to have a personal chef come to the home. This is something that I always thought would, would be like a, a budget breaker, but it actually isn't. My friends and I, we actually tried it and it was not that expensive. It was about the same price as if you were to go to um, a restaurant with friends. Um, it was about the same price. I would say a mid-range, a mid-level restaurant. Definitely consider having your favorite black chef come to you for whatever meal that you would like to have. But if you're gifting it for someone, definitely consider for a, a, a two-party thing. And it's not that expensive. Another thing that's getting into just thinking about the people around you and being creative with the experiences you provide. One of the ones that I was thinking about is photos. Oftentimes our families want to have keepsakes. They want to have professional photos done, but we can't just roll up to the JCPenney anymore like we used to or the Kmart or, you know, the magic photo for those of you who are from Chicago. But there are tons of photographers out there that you could schedule or reserve a session. Now these can definitely get pricey, but you do have some entry level photographers who could give you a better price point if you are trying to find a budget friendly option. 
Photo sessions are definitely great for friends who may want to have their LinkedIn profiles updated, who are expanding their brands and you want to get them professional photos done, or just one family photo with all of your immediate family. So definitely consider gifting a photography session as that is an experience that will last beyond time. I need a drink, honey. This is a long list. Definitely need to add some liquor to this just to get, get rid of it. He heard my cry. <laughs> I'm over 21. I may look 18, guys, but no. <laughs> Your girl's grown, okay? <laughs> Sips. All right. Let's get into our next list. Now, this one is by far my favorite because I'm one who loves a good product, honey. And I think that I have some good things on this list that will give you all some great ideas for gifting. Now, what I want y'all to remember is that for you procrastinators out there, for all of y'all who wait to the last minute, that last week or a couple days before Christmas, I need y'all to remember we're not doing that this year. We don't have the capacity to wait to the last minute in 2020. This is your reminder, a friendly reminder, to just order right now. I would say maybe wait up until the Wednesday before Christmas, but that's even cutting it too close. Just do it right now. Just do it right now. So up first, we have the kitchen appliances. These kitchen appliances are timeless gifts that anyone would enjoy. First up on my list is the ever so popular Keurig, okay? Keurigs are amazing. For the person who loves Starbucks, why not just purchase the Starbucks ingredients on Amazon and pair it with one of the single cup Keurigs and it will be a great gift for the coffee lover in your life. Anyone who loves being in the kitchen would really love an indoor grill, okay? Especially if you're like one of those people who want summertime food in the wintertime, an indoor grill is perfect. Especially nowadays where we can't even go to our favorite restaurants, an indoor grill would be perfect to try to recreate some of your favorite meals at your favorite restaurants. All right, everyone, up next we have winter gear. So whether that is a cute coat, you know, Burlington always has great options or online with Macy's who always has an amazing sale on coats, especially around the holidays. You can also go to Goodwill and the Salvation Army or go to Buffalo Exchange if you're in the Chicago area and go thrifting to find a great, great coat. This year, definitely think about long line trench coats or puffer jackets, which are always in style. Definitely also consider gifting masks this season, um, whether that is the whole like face mask that people can wear. Actually, let me wait, pause for a second. Ski masks, ski masks is not, black people, I don't want black people to be profiled for wearing ski masks. Black people can wear ski masks, right? Okay, scratch that. No to the ski mask. If you're looking for really cool designs, I actually just purchased from a Black-owned business called Diop, Diop, Diop. And they have really cool masks. They have some kente print. They have different sort of prints that are typically found in different African countries. Um, definitely consider purchasing from them. Additionally, because these are reusable, they do come with an insert and you can purchase the N95 filters. We're gonna have to wear masks. We might as well look good wearing them. We might as well wear some unique ones, okay? Put a little spin on it. Put a little spin on a little razzle dazzle. Next up on my products list, we have tech gadgets. If you have someone in your life who also loves technology, definitely consider getting them different types of products that may enhance the experience of using that product. So for instance, 
If you have someone who's always attached to their phone, consider getting them a ring pop for the back of it so it'll make it easy for them to hang on to their phone. Consider them getting them a stylish phone case. Um, another great, great gadget for technology users, especially those of us who are working from home, is to purchase additional chargers. Definitely, because we lose those all the time. So consider purchasing extra ports that go into the wall and then actual physical chargers. Or for the work at home person in your life who's constantly on the computer, consider getting them an elevated podium for their computers. Another great idea in terms of products, I'm now getting into talking about sets or gift sets that you could purchase for people in your life. So if you have someone who maybe doesn't want to go to the spa, they feel like their health and safety is going to be jeopardized, why not bring the spa to them by purchasing various products that could help them give themselves their own at-home spa experience. So some great ideas that I have is to purchase something very inexpensive like a UV gel lamp some gel polish. You could definitely get them the polish set, that way it comes with different colors as well as the base coat and the top coat together. This is especially good for those of you who are living in states in which you have to quarantine. Or Another gift option and gift set for the nail lovers out there is to purchase the nail press-ons. Press-ons are They've come a long way since the 90s, okay? Remember press-ons were like, you could press something down on it and the thing will just bend off and pop off. Press-ons are not like that anymore, okay? They're almost like a full set. They're sturdy. So if you want to maybe provide a nail kit for the person in your life, definitely consider getting the UV lamp, the gel polishes if you have one of the girls who like to use their natural nails, or consider purchasing a variety of nail press-ons because these are much healthier for your nails um, and they come in really cute, modern, fashionable styles, shapes, and they're all at really great price points and you can reuse them. This is like, if, if you give this to somebody and they don't appreciate it, honey, let me tell you something. Send it to me because I'll appreciate it, okay? This is a money saver. Next. Up next, still in the nail spa or like gift bag arena, we also have some, we gotta, I mean, we're taking care of the nails, but we also have to take care of our feet, okay? Even if it's quarantine, we should not have corn husks on the bottom of our feet, okay? So, um, Ulta actually offers some really, Ulta and Amazon, because I purchased another one that was from, it's orange, I'll link it down below along with this one, but it is a peeling shoe scrub for your feet, your satin sheets will thank you. <laughs> Don't think I don't know about the satin sheet dilemma and crusty feet, okay? Because when I don't get my feet done, I be hearing all kinds of scratching noises from the bottom of my bed because my heels are scratching up my sheets, okay? We will not be scratching up our heels and our sheets in 2021. So gift this. Up next, for the candle lovers in your life, Definitely consider purchasing a candle set or a candle gift set for the ones who love to have an aromatic space at home. I myself like to purchase candles either from black owned candle businesses, which are definitely linked down below. Please check them out. If I can't purchase those and I need to get something quickly, I also like to go to places like Target or home goods to purchase really fragrant scents that also come in really great packaging. For instance, I have this candle from Target. It is from their brand called Opal House. I really enjoy this one, not only because of how aesthetically beautiful it is, but also because the scent is just so relaxing. It, it has a good throw. That's something that I just learned this week, y'all. So you want a candle that has really good throw because you don't want to be burning something for hours and you barely have the scent remaining in your room. This one has amazing throw. 
In addition to getting someone candles, you should also consider, let me tell you something because I'm a candle, I'm a candle aficionado, okay? I haven't learned all the terms and all the like tools and stuff, but I have learned that you should be cutting your wick. So if you're considering purchasing candles for, you know, a loved one who loves scents in the home, consider getting them a wick cutter. The benefits of trimming your wick is that you do not get that black soot around your walls or on your ceiling from lighting a candle and it increases the burn time so you're able to burn it longer. So definitely consider getting the person a candle or two, wick cutter, and also some sort of lighter. This is for the liquor aficionado in your life. So consider purchasing the person who loves a good drink, a decanter kit. So the decanter kit kits are very inexpensive on Amazon. You can get them personalized or you could just purchase the general one. This is a general one and it comes with some really amazing tools inside. So this one came with a decanter, which I'll show you in a second. It came with two whiskey glasses, as well as some cubes that you put in the freezer. Um, and then it also came with some tongs for the cubes. Now it came in a very, very fancy box, honey. This is very fancy. And it also came with the decanter. <laughs> This also came with it. They had some on there in which you could have it personalized with the person's name. Um, it was a really great turnaround in terms of how fast it was shipped. But again, this is the holiday season. So if you have a drinker in your life or someone who likes to just celebrate life with a little libation, definitely consider purchasing them a um, kit with a decanter as well as additional accessories for their drink. Another great gift idea for the person who may not like hard liquor is the winos in your life <laughs> or the wine drinkers. So definitely for them, consider purchasing them a charcuterie tray. Did I pronounce that correctly? I think so. Charcuterie, <laughs> along with one bottle of wine, um, along with a set of wine glasses. All of that can be under 50 bucks. I was just at Home Goods today and we purchased wine glasses. Babe, how much were the wine glasses? Not mm. For four wine glasses, we only paid $9.99. So for the wine lover in your life, you could get four wine glasses for $9.99, that's $10, plus a bottle of wine and honey. Let me put you on game. You better go up in Aldi, okay, and get them some Winking Owl. I think that's what it's called. Winking Owl wine. They have all kinds, all kinds of wine. Get them a bottle of wine and then purchase the charcuterie tray, which you can also get from Home Goods. They have like the really nice wooden ones. Um, they have just a different variety of charcuterie trays that you can purchase. What a great gift under $50. The last item on our product list is actually one of my faves right now. Enamel pins are becoming all the rage, especially right now, in which people want to showcase their personality, their individuality, what they stand for, and who they stand for. A really great gift for the person who is all about showcasing their identity on their clothes or through their accessories is purchasing enamel pins. So these were actually purchased from the company called Lynn Pins, and you can find them at all Lynn one on Instagram. And she has this black rosy the Riveter pen, which I think is so amazing, and it says we can do it. And then I also purchased the one from Lynn Pen. And this one, I think it's called the Black AF Pen. And it goes from minority, person of color, African American, black, black AF. And this is definitely one of my fave pens. So if you are into jazzing up your denim jackets or your hats, definitely consider purchasing some cool 
Lynn pins. And they're definitely going to be linked down below. Moving on to our last category, which is the monetary gifts, okay? This is for you people who do not like to think creatively, who don't like to think outside of the box when it comes to gift giving. We need to do better, but I got you when it comes to the monetary gifts, okay? So, of course, you could gift people with money. Everybody loves money. There's no complaints when someone gets money, okay? That's fine. Another great idea is to give someone a gift card from their favorite store. If you know the person in your life is a makeup lover like myself, definitely consider getting them an e-gift card from somewhere such as Sephora or Ulta. You don't even have to leave your house, honey. You could just go online, put in your card information, select the amount, and send it right to their phone. And then instantly, they have it. A lot of places right now are actually offering 10% off gift cards, so you can actually get it at a cheaper price point if you purchase before Christmas for you procrastinators out there. Another great gift idea is to purchase someone a membership to some sort of online subscription service. That can be a yearly subscription to Netflix or a year subscription to Hulu or any other TV provider that would be a really great gift to someone. Another great monetary gift that you could provide someone in terms of membership is for the stressed out person in your life, you could purchase them the Calm app. I myself accidentally purchased the Calm app for a year, so I have it for a year now, and I actually really enjoy the app, especially on the nights where I struggle with falling asleep. I turn on the Matthew McConaughey story, and he, in his sultry southern voice, he reads me a nice little bedtime story, and I just feel so relaxed. So definitely consider purchasing someone that. Another great option is to purchase someone a music subscription to places like Tidal or iTunes um, or Spotify. That seems to be the popular one right now. All right, y'all. We've reached the end of our 2020 holiday gift guide for the procrastinators out there and also for those of us who are in quarantine. I hope that you all were able to get some really cool gift ideas from the suggestions that I provided. And if you have any ideas or additional suggestions on what we could give our friends and loved ones, definitely help our family out and comment down below with those gift ideas because I'm still thinking, I'm still shopping. Of course, we trying to keep it budget friendly, okay? Because ain't no PS5s over here, bitch. Okay, ain't no PS5s over here. We don't have PS5 money over here, okay? So let's try to keep it budget friendly with the suggestions in the comments section. But I would definitely love to hear you all's ideas um, or additions that you all would think to add to the list that would be helpful for us who are thinking about purchasing gifts for our loved ones. So thank you so much for tuning in. I had a great time with y'all as usual. If you made it all the way to the end, don't forget to come back, okay? Because I love seeing y'all. This is my, what is this, my third video now and y'all came back? I truly, truly appreciate it. So definitely catch me in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, if you need a reminder, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video if you think it'll be helpful to someone who is in the gift giving spirit. I will see you all in my next video. Happy holidays. Bye.